Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Upper Echelon Sports. Today, we're gonna be looking at why NFL and NBA rookies go broke in three to four years. Let's get straight to it. Among the latest to join the ranks of athletes that go broke is Allen Iverson. After earning over $200 million in the NBA and even more throughout different sponsorship deals, Iverson is now broke. A judge recently ordered Iverson to pay a jeweler $860,000, but once he revealed that he could not pay it, the judge ordered his bank account to be seized. Now he is waiting to cash in on a $30 million rainy day trust fund sponsored by Reebok as a part of a previous deal he made with the brand. College football fans also know of Rakeeb Rocket Ismail, the presumptive NFL number one draft pick who played in the NFL as well as the Canadian Football League. Ismail earned around $20 million in his football career but lost all of it due to a string of bad investments that included a phone card dispensers, a movie, and cosmetics. Marion Jones was a three-time gold medalist making more than $7 million per year until she was indicated on check fraud and IRS forgery charges, among other problems. She lost all of her medals and later filed for bankruptcy after six months in jail. Finally, he was once worth up to $400 million and later had less than $700 to his name. This person is Mike Tyson. After spending time in jail for rape and dealing with the wealth of other problems, Tyson has slowly recovered but is still worth a fraction of what he once was. Other athletes that have gone broke over time include Vince Young, a former NFL player for the Tennessee Titans, Dennis Rodman, a former NBA player notably on the Chicago Bulls, and Diego Maradona, an Argentinian soccer player once named FIFA's 2000, FIFA 2000's player of the 20th century. According to Sports Illustrated, 78% of NFL players who are retired for only two years file for bankruptcy, and after five years of retirement, 60% of NBA players suffer the same fate. According to a study in the National Bureau of Economic Research, as well as close to 16% of the NFL players in the study that were drafted between 1996 and 2003 were also filed for bankruptcy within just 12 years of retirement. Why have so many athletes and celebrities who were once financially well off later found themselves bankrupt? More importantly, what can we learn from their falls from financial grace? Athletes have a unique problem that many other professions don't. Their earnings window is small. While more traditional careers may allow a person to work 30 to 50 years, a professional athlete can only work a fraction of that time. This leaves the retired athlete with the job of managing what they have to last for the rest of their life with only a fraction of their old salary being earned. Although most people aren't in that situation, the lesson to learn here is that our income is never guaranteed and living within our means while putting money away for the unknowns of tomorrow is a necessity. According to Sports Illustrated, most athletes lack the financial knowledge to manage the large sums of money that they're earning. Allen Iverson is one of the many athletes who lived a lifestyle based on his peak earnings yet failed to think about the money he would need later in life. Even worse, someone like Raheeb Rocket Ismail trusted his money to attorneys and other advisors who'd steer him into overly risky investments that later left him bankrupt. Regardless of your net worth, you have to play an active role in the management of your financial affairs. Even the best money manager won't care about your money as much as you do. And for that reason, you have to be the final and most important decision maker, and those decisions have to be made based on your financial knowledge. If you know very little about managing money, it's not too late to change that. Warren Buffett may be one of the richest men in the world. You may not know it by looking at his modest home and relatively simple lifestyle. He chooses a modest lifestyle because he knows that the accumulation of stuff is contrary to good long-term money management. Many of the athletes who find themselves bankrupt overspend on extravagance only to find their possessions nearly worthless later in life. Regardless to your level of income, live a lifestyle that doesn't stretch your budget. Not only will it set you up for financial freedom, but it's far easier to sleep at night when you're not worried about your next paycheck. The bottom line, take a cue from the many athletes who have found themselves bankrupt later in life. Spending rather than saving is a losing proposition regardless of how much money you have. If you don't consider yourself a good money manager, ask for help. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know who you guys think the most crazy athlete that went bankrupt was. I'll see you guys next time, and have a great day. Peace.